Here we are in Liège, Belgium to meet Lionel Viassin. Lionel is the elite men's team captain place. and was also the first rider to join the team back in its inception in 2019. We're here to find out what it's like to be an elite level e-racer and to race with teammates from all around the world from your garage. Hopefully he's in. Hey! Hey! Bonjour! Just don't get me to do the frisbee throwing. And the... <coughs> oh, good. <it's> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Micro test. The thing that you have season, season over season over season, every every three months almost. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's pretty. It's pretty different than real life. So. Uh, it's been interesting how the kind of teams evolved from the very beginning. I mean, there's obviously mm. some guys who've been with us since, and girls have been with us since the very beginning. Yeah. But actually, it's. I remember when we put the team together, I really felt like we're going to be with all of these riders like forever, it kind of felt like. Yeah. But I guess at least at least half half the people are all new, yeah. if not more. Yeah. I don't know. Of course, it's the right way to do it, and, and I always try to do it the, the best way possible. But in the same time, mentally, for a rider, when you start struggling, and then you see other teams being more like easy going and stuff like that and then you say why wait why i have to to be so so strict on myself and stuff like that when the guy next to me just it's not like he's cheating but it doesn't make anything to make the sport cleaner you know no, it's, it's funny but they they say the time trial is like the race of truth <laughs> but in e-racing the race of truth is the one where everyone's on the same equipment yeah <laughs> like every rider is is racing from home, so it's not like a, a pro team when you have when you have uh, the stuff around like mechanics. I need a mechanic to send around to people's houses when they're like, yeah. oh, I need a you, you need a I tech need guy my power meter putting on to set up the Wi-Fi correctly. <laughs> but, uh, I would say when it's really important that you start. When it comes to the, the crunch, yeah, yeah. We are like clutch player, you know. We always come at the very late. We know what we have to do when it comes uh, to the crunch. What are you going to do when we come to the crunch? Oh my word! Are we back to the crunch? The crunch is in the music. <laughs> <laughs> my gracious. Fair up <laughs> the team we have now, I've never experienced a team with stronger bonds than mm -hmm. we have now. So it's, you think that you're alone in your garage, but actually you have more, more uh, connection with people. You know, we do we do esports because we're good at it, mm. right? It's not really a good enough reason, and that's not going to help us like grow as a team. So really, it has to be like tied to other stuff we, we've done. Is basically what we say. What we're saying is the old way of doing like a racing team mm -hmm. isn't cool. Yeah. Like as in, it's not interesting apart from to people who are really passionate, like cyclists, which is a very small percentage of the population. Mm -hmm. And it's not particularly attractive to like young people who are maybe picking up cycling and getting into maybe racing. There's no kids really who want to put on like a, a, a jersey which has like the brand of a you know, washing machine. It's difficult because you see on screen that you have that many viewers and the viewer that interacting with you, maybe like 10% yeah. or something like that. Yeah. And you don't know if people are just like taking two minutes, then go away because maybe it's boring. 
Would you ever like want to work for like the team like full time or if it was like big enough or you know what, what do you want out of it? I mean, if we had like if erasing a, a this bigger calendar with more different competition, yeah, for sure it would be exciting, super exciting. But at the state of erasing at the moment, well, don't don't limit yourself to just erasing. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. I would love to just focus on doing stuff on on the bike on different like erasing gravel test stuff. Like I mean, and you could do coaching, right? Yeah. So the thing is, like at the moment, I focus on trying to to be the best as possible, and with my job is you no, know, I know I do my job, and then I have that and can focus the rest. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. So I have to make the switch mentally first. Yeah. It's not that easy. Maybe next year. Yeah, maybe in the next few months, you never know. We have riders who are based all around the world, so you have to be there, more or less. Oh, no, no.